I think I'll read this book. Speak Peace. Speak Peace in a World of Conflict. I'm becoming a little bit grumpy <clears throat> at the world and the many ways in which people justify their violence against others. Real violence. You know, I don't think that speech is violence. I think we should have more speech, not less. I'm very free speech oriented. This particular book is written by a guy named Marshall Rosenberg. Uh, and he wrote uh, Nonviolent Communication. Uh, this book was donated to me. Nice donation. Thank you. I do appreciate when people give me books, whether I agree with them or not. In this case, even though I haven't read this book yet, Speak Peace in a World of Conflict, uh, you know, I want to look at my own, my own communications because I'm so frustrated that I feel like, you know, being kind of grumpy. I feel grumpy that, that the world continues to be a shithole of oppression. And a lot of people, of course, decide that they're the victim of some things and therefore that justifies them being bad people in the world. And even though I feel like I'm a victim of a world that people are destroying the natural world that sustains us, that they destroy the groups that they're not in, whatever demographic they're in, that they're into. Uh, and I think I would like to improve my communication so that I'm a positive force in having us live more peacefully um, with each other. And that, that all of the things I say, that, that I'm not spending my life just attacking others, uh, even though they're different than me, even though I don't like how they act, and there's people who certainly don't like my words. And I guess I want to uh, audit my own words so that I'm a positive influence, even among those who wish to kill me and destroy me for my demographic, for my beliefs, for my non-belief in their beliefs. And so I liked his other book, Nonviolent Communication. Um, and and I, I got work to do, you know, for myself. I don't even speak that nicely to myself. I have uh, violent communication. It's, it's, it's a bad term. Even the author of Nonviolent Communication I, I read was not a big fan of the title of his own book. Um, his original book. But I will go ahead and read this. Uh, what I like is that they, they look at very pragmatically how we deal with each other. I would like a de-escalation of violent communication. And I see how that happens, even among couples, where one person says one thing, it triggers a bunch of stuff in the other person. That person says another thing, which triggers the other person, and it goes back and forth. And pretty soon you just got, you know, very bad negative communication. So, I'll read this. Uh, I do like that they, they're focused on examples of how we can speak to each other, how they can speak to children as we raise them. And uh, it's not woo-woo, you know? It's not some woo-woo spirituality. Woo-woo spirituality is just as evil as the other spiritualities. Um, I'll definitely be reading this book and trying to improve myself, because I can't control what other people do, and I don't want to control their speech. Uh, I, I want to be a good person, and so we'll see.